One of our favorite places to relax and rejuvenate is the island of Kauai. Kauai is the oldest of the Hawaiian islands, the least developed and most lush. It's a really special place. The reason for this trip was to spend time with my mom after she lost my dad, her life partner of 65 years. We like to stay in a place with a kitchen because then we can prepare our own food. So Randa is having veggies. What's under those veggies? Potatoes and blueberries. Veggies, potatoes and blueberries. Actually, this is more like what I eat at home for breakfast, some rice and veggies, but we're on vacation, so I'm having oatmeal. So for oatmeal in the Instapot, the ratio is one cup of oatmeal and one and two thirds cups of water. You put it under pressure for 10 minutes. While the oatmeal is cooking, Nina and Randa are surveying their social media empires. Meanwhile, the Cardinal family shows up for handouts every morning. This is, these are some very charming birds. Here you go. And here you go. Once the 10 minutes is over, you release the steam, open the pot, and you got your oatmeal. Add some berries, and it's delicious. So we're in Kauai, we're going to the pool, we're going to the club. Mom forgot a cane. Here you go. Everything in Kauai is so green. Coming from drought-ridden Los Angeles, it's a real treat. This is where we're headed, the Poipu Beach Athletic Club. We're starting our day out in the water. I'm starting mine in the jacuzzi. Some days we swim at the beach, but we like the club because there's a lot of physical activities we can do. Sabrina likes to do water weights in the pool. Randa does a high intensity workout, including wind sprints. Nina, she hits the Stairmaster. And I like the indoor-outdoor nature of the weight room. Nothing like pumping iron with a tropical breeze blowing on you. We worked up an appetite. It's time for lunch. We brought two Instapots along with us on this trip. And for lunch, we're having steamed broccolis, lentils, and the house came with a rice cooker, so we're having rice as well. So everyone's having rice, lentils, and broccoli along with whatever condiments they would like to add. In my case, I had ketchup and mango peach salsa that we got from Costco. After lunch, time to cruise the island on bikes. Biking is a really fun way to experience a place, as well as getting some great exercise. You see the world in a different way on a bike. During the trek, we ran into Vivaldi, a talking parrot in a tree. His name is Vivaldi. Ah! Vivaldi. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Can he talk? Ah! Yeah, he so speaks Spanish and English. What well, words can he say? Vivaldi. 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 Hola. Hola, Vivaldi. Ah! Hi. Oh my God, I love her. Vivaldi was cool. And so is the Kauai shoreline. We made our way to a landmark called the Spouting Horn. The Spouting Horn is an opening in the volcanic rock where the water is forced up when a wave comes in. It's pretty spectacular. There used to be a second one that was even bigger, but some genius from a nearby sugar plantation decided to blow it up with dynamite around 1905. We found a local restaurant that had some healthy vegan options. We had steamed veggies over jasmine or white rice. Just plain, no oil. It was very good, except that I had to have two orders because I'm a volume eater. 
So that's a typical day with the Nelsons in Kauai. Aloha!